Hello, in this tutorial we are going to create barbering schedule for underground septic tank, okay? So this is the septic tank you can see in our plan. This is basically the septic tank and uh, we have different reinforcement details here in this section. We have underground septic tank section 104, okay? And we have reinforcement detail over here. This is basically the plan, okay, underground septic tank, uh, bed reinforcement detail, okay, bed is basically this one, and this is for slab reinforcement detail, okay, this is basically the slab at the top, and uh, we have here the walls as well, we have reinforcement here in the walls as well, so we will start right from the bed. So let's look about the reinforcement detail. As I said earlier, it is very important to understand the drawing before creating BBS or it could be any estimate. Okay. First of all, you need to understand the drawing. So let's understand the drawing. Let's start from here. Now here we have concrete covers detail for foundation. It is a one, one by two inches slab and RC wall reinforcement concrete walls. We have a uh, concrete cover as 1 by 2 inch columns and beams it is uh, again 1.5 inch water tank we have 1 inch okay water tank or it could be septic tank as well okay and uh, we have bend details as well over here bend in base in this base we have bend as 16 d and bend in slab is 9 d and development length development length is what this is basically development length okay uh, in the uh, longitudinal reinforcement in the walls and this is 16 d i think okay so uh, sorry 12 d so uh, you need to just uh, add the values according to these specifications now let's move here and see uh, the reinforcement plan over here as well uh, you can see over here these red bars these are basically main bars okay these bars i'm talking about okay and this is again the double reinforcement we have reinforcement at the bottom main bar and the distribution bars and reinforcement at the top as well main bars and the distribution bars so let's look about what the reinforcement detail over here we have main bar and it is number four bar mean four by eight inch and at the rate of six inch center to center okay spacing is what six inch center to center and span of this bar is right from this position up till this position we need to place this bar like this one two three four five six seven okay so in this direction this arrow is representing what the span and cut length is basically right from this position up till this position this is cut length and this is span now next to it we have a distribution bar as well the same number four at the rate of six inch center to center now span of this bar is right from this position up till here okay this is pain and cut length is right from this position up till here and this is double reinforcement and the reinforcement at the bottom okay four at the rate of six inch center to center four at the rate of six inch center to center both for main bar and the distribution bar and at top we have same four number four six inch center to center number four six inch center center for main and the distribution bar as well okay so at the bottom and the top reinforcement is same whether it is main bar or the distribution bar so what we need to do is we need to find out the one bar okay let's pause the main bar at the bottom and multiply it with two in order to find out bottom and the top as well okay this is straightforward now here one another thing we have main bar at the bottom and the bottom steel and main bar at the top at top steel okay and definitely we will have the chair bar as well okay in order to maintain the distance as i have already explained okay so we need to find out the cut length of chair bar as well okay so this is some detail for the bed okay you can see the next detail as well okay uh, it is what we have uh, uh, longitudinal bars over here for uh, this RC wall okay we are number we are using the same for six inch center to center so these are walls this wall and this wall 
and we need to place these wall uh, bars right from this position up till here and from this position up till here in these walls so we have four walls and we need to place the bars accordingly according to this specification and uh, these are longitudinal then we have horizontal bars as well number four and these are eight in center to center so span will be height okay here span will be this length and here for horizontal walls we will have the spin right from this position up till here and uh, same goes for slab so when we will create bbs for this rc wall we'll look again for these bar details and for slab as well now in next tutorial we'll start the bbs uh, for this bed okay we have look all of the detail regarding and uh, regarding this bed okay Re reinforcement so we will put all of this data here in this excel sheet and we will find out what the total weight in kg and the ton as well so hope you really understand this session i'll see you in the next